In this video I'm going to show you four simple knots that I use regularly. Um, the first knot is a end knot for uh, uh, clinching against an object. In this case I'm going to use a walker or as a pole or a tree or what not. Um, you can always have the uh, the working end of the rope, this is what's going to be, you know, the, the line that connects to whatever you're doing, or if it's a clothes line or a ridge line. And then you got the tail end over here. I always loop these around the same way and perform these knots the same way. Um, you know, knot tying takes a little bit of uh, uh, trial and error and a little bit of practice to keep up. But here's the, the tail end on the left and the working end on the right. I got it looped around. You get yourself a little bit of extra space uh, on the end of the rope. And you simply want to take and do a loop like that um, around your fingers and then take and twist again the, the action is to twist and you're just making a loop on the other side of the the working line and then um, what you can do is you can either stick the end through there and it will be a, a clinching knot but it's 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 nicer to make it a um, quick release knot so all you do is fold it over and stick it through typically you pull the uh, the tail end of the two coming out and that forms a nice uh, knot there and then this just slides against that so now you have what is a, a pretty strong you know up to the capability of the rope um, and it will clinch up against the the pole that you're trying to tie down to or the the dock or whatever and uh, the nice part about this knot is that with the quick release you just pop it out and it's gone so that's a very quick uh, quick and easy to do knot the second knot I'm going to do um, is an adjustable knot, and what I do here, same type of thing, put the, uh, the tail end over here and the working end over here, and what I typically do here, you got to get yourself quite a bit of rope uh, to hang over, and you're going to see why in a minute. Um, I sort of form a box type concept, and it doesn't matter if you go over or under but um, on this particular move right here, but what you're going to do is wrap this around the working side um, typically four times is a good um, the more the more loops you put in here the more friction you're going to get three is is sometimes a little loose and four is good but five is is better or whatnot um, but that's going to form the friction um, that makes your adjustable knot the last thing you want to do so I've wrapped it around uh, four times there and it doesn't matter if you go over or under but in the last one you want to go completely under both sides in my case here and then come back up and same type of thing uh, stick myself a quick release through that opening and then tug on the uh, the tail side until it comes tight kinda gotta use that right there tighten it up so I got the quick release and I've got now these are very tight and what I'll do is if I hold this down and I pull on the working side, you see it really doesn't slip on me. But I can tighten things up, right? It just goes further away in this case or, or if you want to loosen it up. So once you put tension on this here or even without it, it really doesn't move a whole lot. So that's the adjustable side that you would use on the other side of a clothesline or the other side of a tent ridge line after I tied the first knot. And um, makes for a very tight knot. The quick release on this adjustable knot is not quite as simple. Obviously, if you pull it out, it's a, a um, quick release is there pretty quick, but then you got to unwrap it, basically. So it's not a terrible quick release, but it's uh, the only adjustable knot that you'll probably need. So just to show the combination of the two knots, um, on this side I put an adjustable knot that we, the second knot, the first knot was this quick release quick tie over there. And so to do the adjusting, you can pretend I've got a very short span here going against a, two poles of a walker but you see I can tighten it up, this knot up and what you got here is a very taut line um, that's what's going to hold up your clothes line or your ridge line or anything you want to hang from there uh, in that manner and of course when you're done with it there's a quick release over here and it's gone and then you quick release this side same type of thing and you're done so the third type of knot, a uh, very very common knot it's called the bowline knot um, all it does is create a loop, a fixed loop at the end of a, a, a line. So same type of thing, I'm going to wrap it around here. You got the, uh, the working end and the tail end. What you do different here is that you take the working end and you fold it over once. So you make a loop. Again, it's the, 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 
the working end goes under and spins around and then comes back. Uh, if you do this the opposite way, um, it won't tie on you and so you'll figure that out pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my tail end and this is the old out the rabbit hole around the tree and back in. Um, so it's a, you're going to come through that loop um, over under this uh, working line and then just loop it back into the hole uh, like that and that's a very common very simple and then you grab these two um, on the tail end and you just kind of tighten it up and I usually give it a tug this way and then give it a tug that way and this way and that way and what you've got you know you end up with kind of a Y there um, and of course this loop uh, you know this isn't uh, slipping anywhere um, you can use this for a foothold, you can put a carabine on her, you can just loop it around poles at a dock, or you can loop it around this way and it's just fine. It's also good for, you know, in a, in a pinch, tying two different uh, ropes together, you just put another bowline knot and go the other way. Um, this one's not quite quick release, I could have probably put a quick release in there. Um, but it's it's uh, not terribly jamming, it's, it's pretty simple to, un to undo. It doesn't jam up real bad, and so... That's a bowling. Once again, it's very simple. You just loop um, under, bring the tail through, around, and back through. Give it a tightening tug. Tug both ways and you're good to go. So the fourth knot is uh, you want to put a loop in the middle of a span of rope and have the two lines go the other way. I don't have a real good way of doing this. I just kind of fold it over like that, you know, take it around and tuck it under. And uh, when you pull that tight, you kind of just looks like a figure eight or whatever you want to call it. Um, the one thing that's terrible about this knot is it will jam up on you very bad. So if you put a lot of pressure on this or it's hang you're hanging something very heavy against the rope, and, and um, then it's going to jam up on you, and sometimes you have to cut it out. Um, not a lot of uses for middle knots. Uh, obviously, you can use this as a trucker's hitch, too, if you ever loop around and tightening. Um, a lot of uses for it. It's just a quick way to tie a knot in the a knot loop in the, in the middle of a rope. You know, if it's not too tight, it will come undone. But like I said, it will jam on you. Or right. so the last useful tip here today. It's not a knot, but it's a way to tie up your rope in kind of a neat fashion. One thing I've done is fold it over this end. This is going to end up being the handle, and I'm going to tuck something through and tighten it up. But what you do is you just loop your rope. You know, nice, nice loops. This will work sometimes on extension cords or whatever you got. And so when you get around to where you wouldn't have enough for a last last loop or so, what you can do is you take that tail end and you start wrapping it. Much like we did with the adjustable knot. Around the bulk. Until you get... This is really going to end up being a handle for you. It's kind of nice. And once you get that done, you find that loop. Tuck the tail through it. And then, of course, I had the other part that I was able to pull tight on this side. And what you end up with is a nice little uh, sort of carrying handle, hanging, um, you know, hang, hang, hanging on a nail or whatever you want to do. Um, and just a nice way to tie up a rope.